For more than 20 years, Sun Shaiyi has kept two CDs that her late husband, Zhou Jian, gave to her. The invention of vaccines has prevented and controlled so many major illnesses. Now, with some common cancers, vaccines are an important option for beating them at their source. Countless scientists are making enormous efforts toward this end. Australian scientist Ian Fraser and his Chinese colleague Zhou Jian were the inventors of the first cancer vaccine in human history. The cervical cancer vaccine brought us the first ray of sunshine in our fight to finally defeat cancer. Cancer is one of the most serious threats to our health, and cervical cancer can be a death sentence for women, especially young women. Since the 1980s, scientists have been working on a vaccine to prevent HPV infection. But when this virus infects a cell, it binds with the host genes to reproduce. It could never be cultured or isolated outside a host, so it was very difficult to research at all, let alone develop a vaccine. University of Queensland Immunology Laboratory is located in Princess Alexandra Hospital. Zhou Jian was invited by Professor Fraser as the executive director of the research project, and Sun Xiaoyi acted as laboratory assistant. Together, they spent eight years researching HPV and the possible vaccine. Jan came to Australia uh, after I met him in Cambridge in 1990 and spent a considerable amount of time sorting out how papillomavirus works as a virus and in the process of doing that he discovered the way of making virus-like particles which are now the basis of the vaccine to help prevent cervical cancer. think of this out of the box. Zhou Jian's idea was to use recombined virus proteins to make a virus-like particle, which would be similar to HPV externally, but have no virus DNA. It would be like a scarecrow, looking enough like HPV to trigger the body's immunological response and the production of antibodies, but completely safe because it couldn't infect its hosts. I can remember very clearly the day that Jan came and showed me the first picture of the virus-like particle. For the first time we actually saw the virus-like particle, we realized now we have the potential to make a vaccine to help prevent cervical cancer. But making a cancer vaccine that can be used on humans still required long and complex clinical trials. Once Fraser and Zhou Jian had the support of a pharmaceutical company, they quickly got to work on the clinical trials. Their efforts were tireless because they saw that first ray of hope right in front of them. But in
就告诉我怎么那么累啊，实际上是他最后的一次通话了，就我真的没想到，就他就这样，这样匆匆的离开了我们。他的离开不光是对我们自己家里的一个损失，也是真的是对整个人类觉得这是确实是一个无可挽回的一个现实，非常的 sad。Today, a sculpture of Zhou Jian stands in his alma mater, Wenzhou Medical University. He is a role model and source of pride for many students there. Zhou Jian opened the research of the disease of the eye, not only for the world, but for the world. Also, his research in this field also led to the development of the Wenzhou Medical University in this field. He also built a research lab here in our city. 与昆士兰大学建立了长期的有效的合作机制，而且跟我们一起也为癌症疫苗的发展啊做出了贡献。In June 2006, the first cervical cancer vaccine was made available in the U.S., Mexico, and Australia. On August 28, 2006, Professor Fraser himself gave the first doses to a pair of young sisters at Princess Alexandra Hospital in Queensland. By February 2014, over 144 million doses of vaccine had been distributed in 132 countries and regions. Professor Fraser has received great acclaim for his achievement. He has been recognized as a person who has saved millions of lives. Today, led by Professor Fraser, the University of Queensland is a world leader in cancer vaccine research. Zhou Jian's theories of cancer vaccinology are being constantly applied and confirmed. More broad-spectrum vaccines for cervical and other cancers are close to completion. But in China, a developing country with an enormous population, women are facing a crisis of rising rates of cervical cancer. 我想活下去。我还有父母要养，老公要爱，儿子要疼。我希望大家救我一命。This is the last wish of a cancer patient. 中国政府的实际也一直很重视妇女的健康。那么我们的两癌筛查工作呢，在若干年前就开始了。宫颈癌的筛查从二零零九年开始，到二零一一年，我们是每年。呃，筛查是三百多万，将近一千万。呃，二零一二年到二零一四年，每年增加到一千万，每天吧，应该说新发有两百，大概有九十例就由于这宫颈癌造成的死亡。呃，可见是对中国妇女呃威胁非常大的一个疾病。目前 HPV 的疫苗在中国马上面世，未来对我们的妇女、对女孩子都是一个福音。The Chinese government is now working with many partners to teach women about cervical health and improve their health and quality of life. Today, 爱让弱者刚强，爱使生命长青，爱使死神雀跃。祝新系女性、中国女性宫颈健康促进计划贝壳行动顺利开展。这个疫苗不光是带给全世界，我们也要带给自己中国的同胞来用这个疫苗拯救中国的女性，那多好啊！我想她一定会非常非常的高兴，在天之灵她一定会知道的。注射宫颈癌疫苗是对自己最好的保护。注射宫颈癌疫苗，让女性拥有更多的自信，更多的精彩。保护自己，我希望尽早接种 HPV 疫苗。为女儿接种 HPV 疫苗，让她健康成长。We believe that the HPV vaccine is a ray of sunshine. It shines on millions of women, and it lights our way forward in the quest for better health.